much more Manchester United than that, does it? Uh, an injury time winner deep into injury time. And who else? Richard Dunn, I guess that's why you leave him on. It is. He's shown us, unfortunately, before. That's why you leave him on. He scores late goals. And like they said in commentary, he done nothing throughout the game. But then moments, those big, big occasions, and he just pops up with the winner. And for him, it'll go down his memory. Yeah, it was a great game. He scored a goal. He scored the winner. That's all that matters. And it got United out of trouble. I think it papers over a few cracks, but it's it, it, overall, I don't think it was a, a good enough. But he won't care. He'll be delighted with himself. Yeah, much to discuss. We, we'll talk about those cracks uh, afterwards. But it's all about him. We were just as we were just wondering how he stayed on, and, and he hardly had a. A kick of the ball for most of the match doesn't bother him in the slightest when the chances come. He tends to stick them away. And as I said, Brian, that's a huge result in the context of the group from Manchester United. Didn't look like they were going to get the win they needed for much uh, of the evening. Let's look at the Villarreal goal that, that put them uh, ahead in that second half and tell us what it says about the weaknesses in United's performance this evening. Well, it exposes their organisation in the middle of the field. You just look how one ball through, cuts out, Varane goes into the middle of the field after Alcazar, doesn't get it, McTominay and Pogba cut through, can't recover quick enough, it's four against three now, timing of the pass from Trigueris in off the left wing, plays it into Danjuma's path, and that again, once again, he, he, he was... He was Excellent tonight on the on the left of the front too, but here he's on side, been kept on side, um, and lovely little run from Alcazar getting to the near post. That should have really cut that pass out. Little touch in there, it gets across the front of the defender again. Tellers to stick it in the net, but they just cut through in the middle. And it just if. It showed how disorganised I thought Manchester United were. Easy to play were. against was what you were, you were both saying. In the midfield for area, much of that game. particularly so, they found it far too easy in the middle of the pitch all night, and that persisted right through the game. It looked so bleak from a United point of view at that point, Richard. So how have they come out of this with the victory? You're going to look at the equalising goal from us. What does it come from? Yeah, it's just I suppose the typical thing with United is when they go a goal behind there's that little bit of urgency in, in their play and this way Greenwood starts fighting for the ball which he hadn't done all evening probably luck, luckily to get the free kick um, I think the, Mourinho gets booked in the end rather than the guy who actually makes the foul so probably a bit fortunate to win it but when you look at Villarreal and how organised they have been all game to leave that space on the edge of the box is, is criminal really and the ball in, you're looking at it thinking it's a bit high, where's it going? But then the finish is outstanding. It's, it's a great goal. The volley is absolutely finish, magnificent. Wasn't it? Brilliant. Keep that down. And, 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 and he almost aimed it through. You, you, you have to remember, Villarreal had all 11 players in that area between mm. the ball and the goal line. And he actually, he, he threaded it through them, but he threaded it through like a rocket. It was a brilliant finish by Tellis. And as, as Richard said, so often when United go a goal down, they do sort of spark into life. We're going to see a couple of chances that came before the goal. Um, what's the, at the root of that, that Brian? And what, United fans wondering, why can't you play with this intensity earlier in the match when Villarreal were dominating? It's hard to understand why they don't start games the first half when they don't play well lack of urgency, a lack of intensity about their pressing. Um, and there was certainly more of it in the second half. They were a bit better. Cavani's on the pitch, as you can see now. They made a couple of substitutions. Lingard is on the pitch. In fairness, at the end, I mean, the ball that, that Fred gives for, for the goal eventually, I mean, this is still build-up play down the right-hand side. At this stage, Villarreal have made a few changes. At the back, the midfield was probably buckling a bit, but it made changes in the centre of the back, left back position. And here's where Fred comes into it. It's a delicate cross. Ronaldo wins the header, substitute Espinen and at left back doesn't do himself um, a lot of good there. Look, he, he misreads the, the, the height of the cross, allows Ronaldo to head it down. Brilliant reaction. Bit of a scramble on the near post, Lingard involved. They were having a look at it for a while, they wondered if Lingard foul the Villarreal player but Ronaldo once again squeezed her in the near post and was still on the pitch <laughs> we were saying Many he's not doing an awful lot he doesn't help in the pressing doesn't over involve himself when he doesn't set a tone for the other players to press mm. but well, how, how do you go into the dressing room then and say Ronaldo and you need to do a bit more pressing you know yeah. <laughs> he's just he's... you could even see it Mike Phelan congratulating him as he's coming off the pitch and he just laughed at him because I think the two of them must have known you've done nothing tonight, but you've won us the match. And that's what you get with superstars like Ronaldo, like Messi. They can just turn up for those magic moments and he'll cover over some of United's problems for them, but 
tonight's a great great result for them, but going forward, I don't think that type of performance isn't going to be good enough to win a Champions League or win the Premier League. So, covering over cracks, like what's what's the proper way to analyse this performance? If you're from Solskjaer's point of view, you, you might say, you know what, we were a goal down, but that's why we have Ronaldo on the yeah, pitch. Got, that's why we have players who, like, who can do great individual well, things. You've got to go take from that is we won the game, didn't play well again, and go on from there. We're still in the early stages of the season. We're still in September. Two games gone in this part, this section of the Champions League. They've got three points. They need them. I said one, one point before the match wouldn't be enough. It looked like Villarreal were going to get it. They've got to go on there and improve from there and be more dominant in games against the likes of Villarreal, they've had a little sticky spell in the league, uh, well they lost to Aston Villa, obviously they beat West Ham they went there with the League Cup but mm. they're still in a good position in the league and now they've got themselves back in the running but their overall performance wasn't at all convincing. Can they be more dominant um, Richard because you know you guys looked at half time and, and you showed so many uh, shots of, of United players ambling around not pressing, not playing with energy and you compared it to the likes of Liverpool and City who are always mm. at that level, like is that a mal- Plays um, at United that can be overcome. I think it can be. You look at United when when the game goes to one all. The, the clips that we show at the end of the match, they're all crosses into the box. For 60 minutes, they never bothered crossing the ball because they thought they were all lovely footballers and they liked to pass it. And that's great. And you need to do that. But you need to do both things. You need to get balls in the box. You need to disrupt the opposition team. But United are so slow in the build. An attitude, attitude thing or a tactical thing? Is, is it? That's an attitude thing. I think it. it I mean. Running and working hard is part of the game. It should be part but of the game. You can't pick your games to do it in time. It should be in every game. Is this a culture in the club thing that, that well, you're well, talking about? I, I, I don't from... know, but the evidence is that there's, when they go behind the matches, everyone works a bit harder to try and get the ball back and create chances. So w- why isn't the culture in the club? We start the match as we mean to go on and be intense from the off and get on top of teams and get the first goal mm. and dominate games. I don't understand it, but it, it, it doesn't look good. But they got away with it tonight and they're very much back in contention in the group. Yeah, the scoreline looks good and the group table uh, looks good, as Brian says. Uh, 